All right, Pistons fans, so on today's video, we need to talk about a move the Pistons recently made. <laughs> Now, I am a few days late, so please forgive me, but better late than never. And I'm going to be talking about the move of the Pistons getting John Beeline. So the Pistons are hiring a John Beeline, former member of the Cleveland Cavaliers, former member of the University of Michigan's basketball team. And he is coming to the Pistons to be the senior advisor for player development. And according to Tom Gores, Dwayne Casey specifically picked Beeline to be in this position. So let's talk about it now. Um, and, and his stint with the Cavaliers, they weren't good. And we don't need to talk about the thug slug. We don't need to talk about that. Just his stint on the Cavaliers, they weren't a good team. All right, flat out. And the players didn't like him. They didn't respect him. It wasn't a good fit on the Cavaliers. But I will say that, you know, with him coming to the Pistons, it's not going to be the same situation because he's not going to be the head coach. Okay, he's not going to be that. He's going to be an advisor for player development. And I'd like him being in this position much more than I would like him being in the head coaching position because obviously in Cleveland, he didn't show that he can handle NBA players. Now in college, he did a pretty good thing. While he was in college, he coached guys like Trey Burke, Tim Hardaway Jr., Ignaz Brasdakis, Karis LeVert, Jordan Poole. I could keep going on and on. He's had a few players, you know, in his tenure while he was, while he was coaching University of Michigan. He had a few players make it to the NBA. So he must have been doing something right in college. And he was doing something right in college. It's just that it didn't necessarily translate to the NBA level when he wasn't a good NBA coach. But I feel like him being in this position... You know, helping players develop with our young guys, Killian, Sadiq, Isaiah, Saban, you know, all the young guys. I like him in this position because I feel like there's no pressure on him. He doesn't have to do too much. He's not going to be out of his league. He's just going to be in the right position where he can sit back, help the players out, and not do anything too major. And I'm going to read a quote actually from Tom Gores, and it says, There is nothing more important to our franchise right now than the growth and development of our players, Gores said. Now, that's a, I'm, I'm going to keep reading in a second, but that's a very good um, statement out of Tom Gores. I like hearing him say that because right now, that is what the Pistons need to be focusing on um, developing young talent. We don't need to be worried about uh, making big trades right now. We don't need to worry about making big offseason splashes. You know, those things, like if we make a big trade or a big offseason splash, that would be like a good addition. But our main focus right now should be developing the young talent. Now, I'm going to keep on reading. It says, having spent time with John, we all know he is one of the best teachers in the game of basketball at any level. Very, very true. It's just unfortunate that it didn't work out with the Cavaliers. And this is by ESPN, by the way. They just talking about his accolades while he was at Michigan. And he was 278 and 154 in terms of wins and losses. And while he was on the Cavs, he only had 14 wins. So, yeah, I like hearing that out of Tom Gores, you know, giving, giving Casey leeway to do this and then and then also saying that our main focus right now is player development. I like all the things that I'm hearing right now. And I really do wonder, you know, how much of an impact John is going to have on the team if he meshes with the players or not. I just hope that, you know, he can gain the respect of these players because in Cleveland, again, he didn't gain the respect of the locker room and they revolted against him. So I'm just hoping that while he's here on the Pistons, our young guys and him, they could click with each other, they're going to argue with each other and that they're working out together. So Pistons fans, um, this is just good news. The Pistons are on the up, player development, improving the roster. This is what we're all about right now. This is what this team needs to be all about. We have a lot of young guys on the squad. We have Troy Weaver, newly coming to the Pistons, John Beeline, new to the Pistons, and Dwayne Casey finally getting a fresh start with this team because when he came to the Pistons, he came with, with a roster that he didn't really have much input in, and now he has a roster where he does have input in. So this Pistons team, we're just going to be on the up and up, and we're going to be at the top one day. So let me know how y'all feel in the comment section below about John Beeline. Like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Thank y'all for 1K. I'm out.